Hi guys, welcome to Digital Tech Join. In this session, we are going to deploy our web application developed in ESP.NET Core in our local IIS server. That means local web server. We will follow two methods and I'll show you step by step procedure in deploying the same. So first we run the application which is developed in ASP.NET Core uh, and uh, this application uh, is fetch the data from your uh, MySQL database and displays in uh, on the on the view. So uh, the application is ready. If you want to get information about this project and uh, see step by step procedure on displaying this data on the view, you can refer the video that I've shared in the description. Now let's go ahead and publish this application on our local web server. Right click on the project, click publish. So we get all this option. Now in order to deploy our app web application on a local server, there are two methods. One is a folder and one is a web server. So folder method uses a local fo a folder and uh, we have to manually configure this folder uh, in IIS and point it to this folder directory. So let's look at the first method. We click on the folder, click on next, browse and you can create your folder as demo site. Click OK and then say finish. So this is a profile created. Here is a path, your physical path that is C, dot C demo site. Now we can click on this existing, we can, we can click on various options available like I want to delete all the existing files prior to the publish. So whenever I do a publish, publish the site, it will always delete the existing folders or files from this demo site and then uh, deploy the latest one. And then whether we are doing it for the debug mode or release mode, obviously we are doing it for the release mode because we are deploying it on our web server and we click on save and then once it's done so we have created a folder in C called demo site and we click on the once the configuration is done we click on publish now you can see in your output file the application is getting ready it's published all the required file in your C demo site next thing we need to go to our IIS Internet Information Service deployed on your on your PC. Click on Sites. We are going to create a virtual directory under default website. Right click and say Add Virtual Directory. Name it as Demo Site. Whatever you want to name. Click on the Physical Path Browse button and select the folder. This is the site Demo Site click OK. So once the folder is created, you need to convert that into right click and convert that into app application. Click OK. So by default, this site is using default pool. Okay, uh, and uh, we have to just ensure that the default pool is using .NET version 4.0 and above. Yes, it is. Now, once our site is, we have marked it, just click on the site and click browse. Okay, now if you come across this error, that means you click on the application pool and select default because this is using, or you can create your own pool like you say add pool and say demo site. Make sure the version is 4.0 and in your demo site right click on the application tool and go to advanced setting. In your identity section select local system. You can also run with this application pool setting but you have to go ahead and uh, allow the access in your MS SQL console. Anyway so we will select local system which by default uh, takes up this uh, rights and then refresh and then browse sorry I need to change the default pool so right click on 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 your website virtual directory 
and say manage advanced setting and change the default app pool to demo site click ok now refresh and click browse got it so our site is successfully hosted on our local web server we can just click and we can just paste it See, site is up and running now let's go ahead and use the second method to deploy our website on a local server. We will we will again uh, just close this and we will again click on publish. It will show you the existing profile which was built for local uh, folder. We will click on delete and delete this. Okay. At the same time we will go ahead and if we want we can keep this as it is. We will create a new folder. So we click on start. Now this time instead of folder we select web server which uses which deploys your application using web deploy or web deploy package. So we will click on web server, we click on next, select web deploy, click on next. Server since it is your local you just mention local host. Site name you can say default website because we are going to use default this one so this is the exact name we have to fix. default website and slash demo site one or we can just say demo okay no need to give a destination URL. click on finish so this profile is ready now now what we need to do is that click on release make sure this all is taken up yes and you can sorry put if you want you can put the uh, url as slash slash local host slash demo you can validate the connection so it's, it's validated server will be the local host this will be web deploy and save now what happens is that we need to click on publish and what will happen when you click on publish it will go ahead and create all the required folder in your IIS and run the application directly so this is the same error so you know uh, what we need to do is that if you refresh this default website you can see it is created a folder right click on that select go to advanced setting and change the pool to demo site now come over here again and just refresh done so guys um, we have shown you and demonstrated you two methods to deploy your web application on your local IS server uh, I hope you like the video request you to please subscribe our channel and like this video. Thank you so much.